guys. Okay, so I'm redoing this video, my fitness talk video, because in the other video, you could not understand me. I, I, okay, um, booked nerd, some other numbers after her name, commented saying that she's so excited for this video, and she could not understand what I was saying. I was like, oh, interesting. So I went and I rewatched the video because I never watched. I just like put on. I just left and went out. And so I watched it, and I couldn't even understand myself. So I'm redoing this video, and it's gonna be so much better. And you guys are going to be able to hear me. And also, you guys may have noticed all of my Twilight posters are gone. Thank. God, I was so sick of those posters. I woke up this morning, I woke up really early, I woke up at 9. I usually wake up at like 11, 12, I woke up at 9, and I just forget all my posters. So they're all gone. I got these like creepy dolls here, but whatever. So, into the video. So I want to talk to you guys about this workout video. It's called The Biggest Loser, The Workout. And all these four people, I guess, who are on the show, The Biggest Loser, I never, I never watched the show, but, um, they're on it, and they're doing the workouts with you, they're, like, they're really motivating, telling you, you know, like, you're almost there, like, keep on going, because, like, they're really good motivating, and they're really happy, it makes you happy, and makes you want to keep on doing the workout. Um, so I did this workout once, so I'm doing it again tonight, um, there's five different workouts, and they're all five of them. All five of them are ten minutes long. It's it's cardio level one, cardio level two, abs, upper, and lower. Um, and they have it they have it put out for each day, so you have this schedule. So it's Monday to Friday. So Monday is cardio level one. Tuesday will be upper. Wednesday is cardio level 2, Thursday is lower, and Friday is abs. They have a schedule for you, which I think is really good, and it's a really good way to keep people keep on doing the workout and make sure they get all of it in. And that's a really good um, thing to pick up if you're really trying to start to get your body in better shape and truly like tone up. Um, that's really good, especially this season, a lot of people are really trying to lose weight now and tone up for summer, for like the bathing suits and all that stuff. They're really trying to like look their best in their bathing suits, so that's something really good to pick up. I'm not sure how much it is, but I'm pretty sure probably around twenty ish dollars maybe. Not sure, because um a fr my mom's friend gave that to her. So we don't know. Um uh also with working out like these are 10 minute workouts, you can do 10 minute a day, what I do, I'm, I've been working out for like 2 years now, so I picked, I did cardio level 1, abs, and cardio level 2, um, I would have done upper, but that involved weights, and I injured my wrist, cardio level 2 involved weights too, but it wasn't that bad, so I injured my wrist, but it's kind of better now, so I'll be able to do that now. So I can't tell you what upper and lower is like, but abs is really good. It's a lot of planks and abs, but you don't do it for that long. So it's a really good way to build up your your muscles and, and stuff. Um, also, doing one work, one of these one one time one a day, like it's only ten minutes of your day, which I think is really good. You can do that in the morning, or you do that at night. I like to do it at night. But when I come home from school, I work out. So, Mondays to Fridays, I work out for two hours because I am in this fitness course in my school. It's called The Biggest Loser. And we work out for 75 minutes straight, and it's like hardcore working out. So I do that for 75 minutes. Then I come home, and I'll go running, do now this workout video, and sometimes stairs, which is running up and down my stairs. So up, down, up would be one. And down up would be two, so I do that with weights, carrying weights. That's even harder. Like your legs burn. So if you are planning on doing stairs, make sure after you're done doing your stairs, you don't stop. You don't you don't like just sit down on the couch and drink water. Like walk around the house a little bit. 
so you loosen up your muscles. So you're going to be really tensed up after doing that workout. And if you're starting at work, if you're starting out, do not push yourself too far. Just go as far as you think your body can handle. And like if you're planning on starting running, like I started running two years ago, I think now. And I started running 15 minutes. And I have 15 minutes every single day. Now you don't have to do that every single day. Because what you're supposed to do, you're supposed to take breaks between between days working out. Like Monday, Tuesday, you work out. Wednesday, take a break. Thursday, Friday, work out. Saturday, take a break. And Sunday, work out. So you want to have breaks in the week, breaks during the week where you don't work out. Because you don't want to do that to your body. But I work out all the time. But usually there's one day in the week which when I just don't have time to work out. So that's kind of my break. Um, that's usually Saturdays. Uh, also, yeah, so with running, what I did, I ran for 15 minutes every day for two weeks. Then I moved it up to 20 minutes to, for every day for two weeks. Then I moved it to 25 minutes for two weeks. Then 30 minutes. I slowly add, kept on adding on five minutes. Then I got to the amount of time I wanted to run for. Then I started adding up the speed, so my speed increased every two weeks. So that's a really good way to go with it, I think, and you will definitely see results. Also, with working out, you don't want to do the same workout routine every single day. You want to switch it up so your body is shocked because uh, your body will get used to it. You'll stop seeing results. So say Wednesday, you do abs. Tuesday, you do your body. and Wednesday, Wednesday, you do upper. Then switch it up. So you, so then you're not doing Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday at. So there's different days. Then the Monday would be lower. Tuesday would be abs. Wednesday would be upper. Monday upper. Tuesday lower. Wednesday abs. So you keep on switching it. Your body won't get used to it. You'll keep on seeing results. And along with running and any working out at all, the first time you do it, your body won't be used to it. And it well, you will feel a lot of pain afterwards. Especially if you're if you're running and you never ran before, you won't be able to walk down the stairs without pain. And you're going to be in a lot of pain. But if you're in pain, the next day keep doing it, even if you are in pain, because it'll help the pain go away quicker. And your pain will go, and then you won't have no pain no more. So when I started running, um, that day I came back from running, I could not walk up or down the stairs without pain. I couldn't walk at all. I was in so much pain. The next day though, I didn't stay home because I was in pain. I went out and I ran. And it hurt, it hurt. We run for like a few seconds and the pain's just gone. So when you stop, the pain comes back. So after a week, a week tops, the pain will be gone, and your muscles, you, it's, I don't know what I'm trying to say, your, the pain will be gone, and you won't feel it no more, and you'll just feel better, and running will be better for you, or any workout. Um, right, so I got some workouts to show you guys. These are some workouts I got. Four workouts here. These are ones that are really good for like your abs and your bum and thighs. And th these are only a few. And if you guys want me to do these videos more often, showing you different workouts, I will do that for you guys, especially around this season. And I know tons of workouts because that's what I do on a daily basis. So one workout is sit, sit and tuck. So these work your legs. Your legs will burn if you do enough of these, and your abs. Your arms, your shoulders start to burn a little bit too. And what I think is really good for you guys to do, do three sets of 12. That means do 12 of these, then take a break, do another 12, take a break, and do another 12. So it's three sets of 12. So do that for all these workouts, and you all will start to see results. So sit, I took a little picture. Sit and tuck. Right here. So your arms are on the floor, bent, your elbows are bent, and your 
the legs are up and your knees are bent. So you're going in and out. So your arms, your arms will bend. Your legs will come into your body and then you strengthen them all the way. Then you come back in and you straighten them out. Both your legs at the same time. So your legs. So you go, they bend in, then out, bend, like that. That's what you're doing with your legs. So you get that? Your arms are just there. You're just holding yourself up with your arms. The only thing that should be touching the ground is your bum and your hands. That should that that's the only things that should be touching the ground. Everything else should be off the ground. You're doing that with your legs, and your legs will start to burn. And you're going in and out with your body. So like that, like, kind of like little crutches, crunches kind of. Also, lateral crutches. I can do that in my picture. I'm not that good at drawing. Um, so right here, so you're, you're on your side. Your, so your left hand is on the you're on the ground and your hand is on your head. The other one is in the air on your head like this. And your legs are off the ground. You just go in. Kind of like that motion here. Like really that. On the ground though. You bring your legs in too. That's lateral lateral crutches. Crunches. And the fire hydrant, this one is really good. The fire hydrant, your butt is going to burn. You have no idea. Like, it's going to burn a lot. Um, I can do 60 to 60 of these straight, but I start off, like I said, 12, three sets of 12. So, <laughs> you're like this. So, you're on all fours. Your hands are on the ground, and your knees are on the ground. You do one leg at a time. So your left leg, you do three sets of twelve. Then your right leg, three sets of twelve. So what I say for this one, um, and for all the other ones, do your right side first. Do one set of twelve. Then switch to your left leg and do one set of twelve. Then switch back and forth until both legs have gone three sets. So fire hydrant. So your hands are on the ground and your knee is on the ground. So your left knee is on the ground. Then you bring your right leg up, then you, you'll you kick it out. Then bring it back into this position, then bring it back down. And up, kick, kick, like that. But don't rest your knee on the ground. So you want your knee to be hovering the floor when you bring it back down. So you want it to be continuously, not pausing in between each one. So that's going to be a little bit hard, but you got to keep on doing it. And... You will see results here, but it will become so, it will shrink, and it will be muscular. And that's what people want. Another one, I didn't draw it. I could do it with my hands. Um, text message. Text message. Anyways, um, I don't know the name of this, but you're going to lie down on your side, and <clears throat> your legs are going to be straight. What are going to do? So your right leg will be on top. You're just gonna raise it. So this is my right leg. This is my left leg. This is my my body right here. I'm gonna raise it like that. One, two, three, four. Just like that. That's all you're doing. You'll flip over to the other side. One, two, three, four. Like that. That's all you're gonna do. You're gonna feel it in your thighs and in your bum, and it's gonna burn. So. Do those. Oh, also sit up. Sit up the way that we're supposed to do it in my course. Is, so you lie down. You keep your neck off the ground. Your head and your neck off the ground. You don't rest that on the ground. You got to keep that raised up. And because it just, um, it like, word, it like, um, it keeps your stomach. It keeps your stomach held tight, and so then when you lift, when you sit up, it just. I'm not sure what I'm trying to say. Just keep your head and your neck. You keep your head and your neck off the ground, and so you have your your knees bent. Then you're gonna put your hands on your thighs when you move up, like you will for a sit up. Your hands are on your thighs. You move your hands 